Hello everyone, welcome again to Steno 24-7. Today I am dictating selection number 34, 791 words on the subject of furnishing necessaries to wife at 160 words per minute. If you like my content and you like what I'm doing, please go to www.patreon.com Steno Duchess and you can donate as little as a dollar each month just to support this channel and support what you love and help this channel grow to be, you know, um, a great channel for all court reporters. So here we go. Jury charge at 160. Ready? That's right. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, it is the law of this state that a man, when he enters into the marriage relation, takes upon himself the duty of supplying his wife with necessaries. And if through his own fault he does not, the wife, by reason of the marriage relation, has the implied authority as his agent to procure such necessaries, and the husband is responsible for what is so supplied. If the husband refuses to furnish necessaries to his wife, she may secure them elsewhere, and he is liable under the law, therefore. However, one who sells goods to a wife can recover from the husband only upon proof that the husband authorized the purchase or that he refused or neglected to provide a suitable support for his wife and that the goods sold were, in fact, necessaries. The term necessaries in this regard is not limited to articles of food and clothing required to preserve life or personal decency, but includes such articles of utility or ornament as are suitable to maintain to the wife according to her husband's station in life. Now, the plaintiff claims that the goods furnished were necessaries and that same have not been paid for. When a person renders services or furnishes money or goods to another with the latter's knowledge and consent, the law presumes that the person for whom such services were performed or goods and money furnished intends to pay for the same. When a person claims that such goods and money were furnished voluntarily, the burden of proof rests upon such person to prove by a preponderance of the evidence that such goods and money were furnished without expectation of compensation or that the same were not to be paid for. And even though there was no contract of sale, the presumption is that payment was intended. Thank you. For watching and I'll see you at the next video happy writing everyone